So I've just finished my first year of uni and I kind of want to have like a recap or review and essentially tell you guys like what the first year of computer science will be like for most people. Obviously, every university will be a little bit different, but at the end of the day, it's still the same you know, degree. It's still the same thing. So let's get into it. So first of all, at least for my university, it's four units per semester. A semester is like 12 weeks with like two breaks in between, with like a mid-semester break with like a mid-semester one week break in between it and the first four units that and for me it was three units like three like mandatory units I had to do and then one elective and then so on and so forth so my first semester I had a very general python programming unit I had a kind of general like computer security like computer network like uh you know it was very general it was like you learn a lot of like random stuff like very basic like how to program in like assembly language to like computer networks and like how to like debug like packets I don't know just random stuff I had a math unit which was like discrete mathematics and then finally for my elective I chose java programming now python programming I think almost every university will teach you like python as the first one because it's like the easiest and this and that and I've actually made video I think I made a video where I kind of talked about like oh maybe you don't want to learn python as your first programming language but Overall, it's fine. I'm not going to lie, though. I thought that the assignments that they give you for, like, first year programming was pretty hard. Like, it's pretty difficult. Apparently, back in the day, it was, like, way harder. There was exams and stuff. Um, but because of that, they made the assignments, like, way harder as well. But overall, like, I still think... I remember I was talking to someone. I'm like, yeah, honestly, the first year, like, the very first semester of, like, programming, I low-key feel like the assignments were pretty hard. Because I had prof I had programming experience before that. Not really in Python. I don't think I touched Python. Like, I knew very basic stuff. But... But I found that I was like low-key struggling on some of the assignments. So I feel like other people, I can imagine other people were like really struggling. You know what I mean? But overall, the content is like pretty simple. It's literally teaching you like every week it'll be teaching you some new thing about Python. Like, oh, how to splice a array or how to, you know, like, or like what's a, like a Lambda, like anonymous function, like random stuff like that. Like they'll just like teach you like, oh, here's this, here's that. You can do this, a dictionary, yada, yada. And there is no like time complexity. There is no like nothing like theoretical. Like they don't care about efficiency. It's just solve the problem using Python. And at least I had well, the there was three assignments. The first assignment was a group one of group of three. Then it was a group of oh no, it was a group of four. But I had a group of three. Then it was a group of two. But we had a group of three again. <laughs> and then the final assignment was a group of one. So like just solo. And honestly, I found the group task to be I don't know. Look. You want to try and choose someone that is kind of like on your skill level or if you can like maybe try and like get yeah, like be friends with someone that's like actually good at programming because at least for me i found that i was always the probably the one carrying so it's just kind of annoying like when you have to carry someone i know so maybe don't do it with your friend like i don't know like just be careful with, like who you pick as teammates try and like befriend a, like in your very first in your first couple of weeks try and befriend like a lot of people or just like somewhat know and just get to feel like how much and get to feel how much they know about programming because if you're only friends with people that are like really like bad they just started as well and you got like a bit of extra experience you're just going to be held down the now uh, the general like computer security like os like i don't know taught like a whole bunch of random stuff it was just very easy there's there's really no comment like it's very boring just yeah whatever the math unit was decently difficult i wish like i kind of like probably prepared more in math like that's probably the one thing that like I, I hear a lot about cs students they're like whoa like the math like you know i'm not the greatest at math like i understand it. like i'm decent like i decent i try but if you feel that math is not your strong suit really try and hone in on the math like you're probably going to be okay with the programming if that's what like interests you and that's what brought you and you've already got them some experience but the actual math side focus on that and java programming was pretty piss easy i can't lie like at least the unit the assignments were so easy it's like Okay, print out high. And like, I don't know, just like very print, like print out like two numbers, but in a, as a string or something like that. And then print out the type. Like it was just very basic, like Java. So overall, like there is no real like common again, like pretty easy. And then that semester I only had one exam, which was math, which I'm not going to lie. I was like, after I did, I'm like, whoa, I don't know if I passed. Like <laughs> it, was, it was bad. I was like, oh, I don't know if I passed. We're going to have to see. But in the end, it was fine. It was fine. I actually... It wasn't even a pass, like it was like a C, which is, again, it's not crazy, but, you know, it was, it was more than I was expecting. Let's say that I was expecting to genuinely fail. Now, moving on to semester two, I literally just finished it like two days ago. So pretty fresh. But this semester, I had 
a so it was basically how do you say this i had an algorithms and data structures unit so it's python but now like okay how you implement your code matters i had another general like very general it unit not even like really anything doing it like no code no nothing it was just like like sometimes there'll be an essay sometimes you'd have to do a presentation learn about like like it was professional practice like how to be a professional in it and like diversity or like just random stuff like very easy i saw this the easiest you know i barely spent any that like i probably spent like 10 hours on this unit in the entire semester so it's very like light very light then we have a, another math unit which was continuous maths instead so the opposite of discrete and then for my elective i actually chose a second year subject so it's a subject that i should have been doing next year next semester but I just chose it this year because I had the prerequisites and why not? And that second year subject is object oriented design in Java. So it's actually good that I chose Java in the first semester. So I learned all the basics I understood. And now it's like, okay, how can you use object oriented programming, to like design like systems and stuff, the algorithms and the data structures unit. I'm not going to lie. The very first week, I remember everyone when we had our very first like workshop, like lecture, we're like, what the f like, we were just like, we're getting destroyed. This, this is going to be the hardest unit. And like, it genuinely felt like that. It was like, whoa, like this is going to be like really bad. <laughs> like we're going to fail. But in the end, I actually, I think I'm going to part, like get a HD, which is like high distinction, like the highest grade you can get. Um, it's, it's really not that bad. The assignments were, they were challenging. They were actually like at least like 30 hours. That's what you have to, here's the thing. If you're interested in computer science, know that the computer science like the programming units most likely won't have exams, but they'll have assignments pretty that are pretty intense as well. Assignments that you should be spending, like as soon as it's released, you should be working on it every single day, at least like trying to implement one or two functions. And honestly, there'll be some like functions or like there'll be some functions that'll take you five hours to figure out because it's just like some bug is occurring or something. At least every assignment I think was 30 hours. At like at roughly 30 hours like to just like complete the assignment and in this you also had to comment about the complexity and you know make sure you're doing the right implementation and all that because most of the time like what they're actually asking you is not that hard if you brute force it like you can find like some very like easy method to like complete the task but to do it in a efficient manner that's what makes it hard but most of the time but overall like it wasn't too hard they teach you about the data structures enough like no data structure is really that complicated Although I will say that at least at my university, how they taught it is quite like bad. I feel like it could be taught way better. And honestly, if you're ever learning any like data structure algorithm, just use YouTube, just watch YouTube to like understand it and you'll be fine. Usually like what data structure you have to use in this, it's like very obvious. It, it's like you can't like, it's like you can't like not miss what data structure you're meant to use or what algorithm, like it's very obvious. Although I'm not gonna lie, sometimes, especially my last assignment, the complexity, like they had a complexity requirement, like you must reach this complexity for this function. And I just, I would not understand, like I would figure it out, like I draw it out and I would not be able to tell like how you're meant to implement it because it just wouldn't make sense. Like, I'm just like, there's, I have zero clue how you're meant to do this in this. Like it'd be a very close complexity that I would achieve. Like instead of like O log N, it'd be like O log N, lo o log N plus M or something like that. Like, I don't know, it'd just be something kind of clapped. But overall, I think that if you just study and do the work every single day, you'll be fine. Like if you're doing that, if you're doing like a algorithms complexity unit, like you'll be fine. Don't worry. Now the general IT unit, again, it's like IT professional practice, just very easy. I probably will get like a distinction only because like some like assignments, I just really put zero effort in. I just didn't care, honestly. But overall, it was pretty light. Like genuinely is nothing to say. Like eventually I just stopped turning up to the lectures because I'm like, this is a waste of my time. It's just boring. The math unit, this math unit. So I always felt that continuous maths like was a lot easier than discrete. Like for, I think, I think that most people feel that way as well. Like is that continuous, I feel like is more like applicable. Like I can like visualize it more. Whereas con like discrete is very like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know. And honestly, like throughout the, you know, I'm like, uh, I was kind of iffy about the math. I'm like, doing the work, watching the lectures, this and that. But, you know, I was, I was trying, like I was really trying. The assignments were actually good. Like the first assignment I kind of flunked, kind of flunked, I just did it like way too late. But after that, the assignment, like again, like if you want any like one tip to just always do well in uni, it's just anytime you get an assignment or piece of work, just work on it every single day. Just do something 
and then by the end of it when you actually have to submit the assignment it'll be good it'll actually be good like you won't have any troubles you're like oh i just have to do this one over one last question and you have two hours to do five like mathematical questions that are like you know and marks each or something like that you're kind of like you're kind of dead like you're kind of like screwed there and then when it came to the exam you know obviously i studied for it i probably should have studied a little bit earlier but overall i was like yeah you know it shouldn't be too bad and then i had my exam and i got destroyed i can't lie i got destroyed i don't know what the result is but i just know i got destroyed like there were so many like curveball questions questions that i like whoa, was not expecting that at all like they said like oh yeah it should mostly be like pretty standard and then there'll be a, a couple questions that are like for the advanced students like you know like, he's not expecting like most students to get these questions and i'm like yeah that's very standard i swear like it almost felt like 50 percent of the questions were like trying to like advance like for only advanced students or something i don't know maybe maybe i genuinely just didn't study right i studied for too easy quite too easy of questions or something like I don't, know. I don't know but i got destroyed that's all i can say and then finally for the object oriented design unit i'm not gonna lie so this one was like i was very like annoyed at the start but then i kind of I kind of could recognize the need and like kind of like the art behind it. And one thing this made me realize is I love Java. I can't lie, Java is, I think, genuinely like a top tier language because when you read the code, it is so like obvious. Like it's just, it's, I feel like it's easier to read than Python because Python, like, you know, it's, it's simple, but like there'll be so many parts to it that it can get complicated. Whereas Java, I never have to comment. I, there's like almost no need to comment or do anything it's just it's very simple it's just you read it like it would be like player get sword in inventory or something like that like it would be very like simple and the assignment was like kind of like a continuous assignment so it's three assignments and you just have to keep working on it and eventually like it was first like a solo then it was a group of four and then same with the last one it was group of four and you're just continuing and and usually, like, I think what's pretty common is that the very first assignment you get destroyed. The second assignment, it's, like, still, like, kind of bad. And then the third assignment should be your best because, like, you start learning more and more about, like, the object-orientated, like, design, how you should be implementing, like, the solid principles, all this and that. And it can be very annoying because sometimes when you're a very, like, programmer, very logical, like, minded, like, you're probably like me, like, you just want to, like, program, just get the solution done. It's more than the solution. It's like, okay... You can have the solution, you can get it working, but how can you get it working in a way that the system can be extended and it can be added and it's not like, you know, it's not weird. It's not like hard to like add. That, that's like the most important part, like it, the like clean code. So you learn about like design principles and how you can force basically clean code and how the code can be manageable, not only for you, but for other people. Because it's one thing for you to write the code and then understand it. It's another thing for someone else to be able to see it and then, oh, I can understand. Let me just add this feature to it as well. But overall, it's like, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. And then like near the end, I'm like, you know what? I kind of like this, you know, like I can respect it a little bit. I think the only annoying thing was like, you have to draw like diagrams, like UML diagrams, like very specifically, like do this and do that. But in the end, you know, I just remembered, I think I forgot to include something. I, I've... I think I forgot to include my UML. I think I forgot to include my UML diagram in the final assignment. I can't lie. Oh, you don't know. You don't know the stress I got. Like my heart just dropped. My heart just actually dropped. But yeah, you have to do, do something called a UML diagram showing the system, like the classes and how like the interface and all this kind of stuff. And it is useful in a way. It is pretty, it is kind of useful. However, researching it, it's something that it's not really used in the market. like it's not really used in jobs like most of the time they'll do like a very simplistic way but they won't like draw it in such a way that it's like very like strict and to the rules and stuff like just like oh general idea you know what i mean so it's kind of like they teach you something that you're not even going to use really besides that the unit was overall fine and i'd say it was good i it was overall good and you know i think it's actually very good that i started it this semester instead of doing it next semester because next semester there's going to be like a continuation to algorithms and data structures it will be the part two and that one i always hear people like, like that one's hard that one's hard but yeah i'd say i overall kind of enjoyed the time like it wasn't bad i learned a lot if you have any interest in computer science and wondering what your first year is about that's roughly what it's about like general programming then kind of starting to like branch out like teaching you like algorithms but still very general I should also mention that I use Linux the entire university, like on my laptop, and it's just Linux, no dual booting, just Linux. In my experience, I would say it was pretty all right, like literally almost everything worked. The only thing that didn't work is that I had to use a exam browser, like a safe exam browser, which is only on Windows and Mac, like not Linux. 
So it's kind of annoying. I was able to resolve it by just using my mum's laptop. But overall, it's kind of annoying. But, you know, it is what it is. So keep in mind that if you are going to university, maybe dual boot. I'd say like dual boot if you don't have someone else's laptop to use. That's likely that you like Linux and, you know, you're kind of into rising, but maybe you don't know where to start or you have some problems. Well, you can book a free consultation call with me. We can discuss like what you want, what you want to achieve, like how we can do that. And then, then later me and you can get on calls and we can just like start working through it and help you achieve your dream setup. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, helps me out. See you guys next time. Peace.